Here we are on Jamaican Bob Mob Jamaican Bobsled Mafia versus Wallop. About to do our sumo on no return. Cat poking cat poking fun at, at Strangey's Intermite Void Lane in the match on Colgate against Oh, let me hide my cursor that's been on there the whole stream. All right, here we go. Cat Productions, shot by Nixani, first death. Three left for Jamaican Bobsled Mafia, four left for Wallop. Triple ZKO, shot by Zakez. It's 3v3. Subs, shot by Strangey, Wallop up one. Of course, the winner, the winner of the sumo getting to veto second and have final decision on the map that will be played. So Wallop wins, they will be second in veto. They veto Colgate. All right, they veto Trash Elemental. We will play Harvest Hills. All right, we're gonna be playing a match on Harvest Hills. Again, this is Losers Round 5, Jamaican Bobsled Mafia versus Wallop. The winner of this match, I can't tell you. I can't tell you, I don't have the bracket open. Um, neither team is marked as ready yet. Real quick, let's put that up. The winner of this will go into Losers Round 6. One shot away from winning the bottom Losers bracket. All right, Jamaican Bobsled Mafia marked as ready. Wallop, that's ready up, Wallop. All right, here we are, kicking off Jamaican Bobsled Mafia versus versus Wallop on Harvest Hills. Wallop is on the right side of the map. Jamaican Bobsled Mafia on the left side. Fold jumping down into resources, getting the drop on that. He's able to avoid a lot of fire there. Um, nice bridge by Nixani. Wallop is over. He's Getting very low on health, only three hearts, but he was able to avoid a lot of shots there to remain healthy. Um, Cat Production is going for a bridge for JBM, but not getting it yet. Good pressure being provided by by Strangey and and by Triple ZKO. All right, looks like Nixani's getting the tunnel behind first wool.
Definitely getting the drop on the rest of the map versus JBM. Cap production's not going for a tunnel, but rather just blocking up around the mountain here. Claff is probably going to go for those cannon supplies, as well as cannoning the other teams. Those are down at the end of the map. But Cap Productions is in hot pursuit. Claff takes him out, and that's probably the cannon supply secured. Nixani gets void laned. That might have been right over here. Not totally sure. Strange, Strangey and Triple ZKO working their way back up the mountain. Let's check on resources. Looks like we got Nixani now working on resources. Foldesi was down here. Where did you go, Fold? Um, Fold no longer in resources. Three iron blocks and a lot of iron down. Definitely got out of there faster than Wallop did. Sorry for the, uh, frame rate's a little low, not, not sure what's going on there. Hopefully it doesn't get much worse, if it does I might restart the client. Got a good bow fight going on here on top of second. Strangey and Triple ZKO sparring with three members of JBM. Zach has Cat Productions and, and Subatomic Panda. Although, of course, Claff is already across. What are you doing, Claff? Yeah, sure enough. Looks to be going for the cannon supplies. Um, kills traded above second, it appears. Oh, Claff is also going for the iron that's over here. It's got some potions. Strangey and Triple ZKO getting taken care of by Zakez again. Sub's gonna use these cannon supplies to try and knock those supplies out. There is currently no counter pressure here at the top of second, given that pressure from Zakez, who has gotten every kill for JBM this game. And they void, they void Strangey again, and Triple ZKO can't even get back, so JBM has a commanding control of this second area. They could go in. They could drop in and go in for the first leg of this, and that is exactly what Fold SE is going to do. The sooner the better. Do we have someone in second resources? No. Skelly. Nixani, gonna smelt some iron. Whoops. <sighs> Sorry about that. When I right click it. Teleports me around the map, which is not what I was wanting to do. A lot of iron there ready to go for, for wallop. Subatomic Panda knows what the deal is and is trying to cannon it, but the furnace is in a little bit of a different place than I think where he's expecting. Um, looks like Fold got the first section of second, and he's now running back out so that he can start the second section. I would assume that by now Claff has probably cannoned the cannon supplies up here. And that is indeed the case. They are gone. And what is he doing now? He's running third, which is probably smart. Because um, there's no counter pressure up here at all. All of the all of the action is is at second. And JBM was such a powerful control over the top here 
that fold is almost at the second button now. We are missing a member of Wallop. Are we? No, we're not. All three here. Got triple Z KO so low he can't even peek out to provide any counter pressure. Strangey's naked. Hopefully Nixani can get them some iron very soon. They have no power bows. Do we have power bows on the other team? Cat doesn't. Looks like fold us through the second portion of second. Wow, lots of lots of cannon activity here, and Zakez actually has a power bow. Um an attempt at the at a cannon there by by sub. It's probably gonna be a good one once he gets it once he gets the aim corrected. And fold is out after hitting the second button, and he's he's going for the final the final run on second. Meanwhile, for Wallop, Claff is over here. Should be. Uh, should be nearing the wool by now. Okay, he's Crybox right here, at one heart. It looks like he got poisoned by a cave spider. No one from JBM has yet gone over there. They must know that if he's missing, that's where he is. There's not really a great way for Wallop to provide too much counter pressure here because those cannons are just gonna wreck them. I mean, Nixani can't, can't really get, well, he's got a, he's got a fairly good angle from right there, but once Fold clears this area, it's not really going to be much help. As soon as Fold gets up around there, it's going to kind of be ineffective. So I don't know what you would call this. I don't know if you would call this a tie, like or not a tie. That the, the both teams are even. Um, well, I guess not. Claff making it all the way up, getting the touch on Orange Wool for the first Wool touch of the game for Wallop. So that is a slight lead. I think Fold is probably... The Claff might be able to prevent Fold from getting out of here, but Fold can just pass around once he gets in there, so probably not gonna matter. Claff, though, if you know, loves TNT supplies, loves to cannon the opposing team's TNT supplies. So when he gets over here, we're actually gonna see some cannon battles. Given that Claff blew up the cannon supplies at the end of the map, and Sub blew up the cannon supplies over here in the middle of the map. I don't know what the difference in contents of the chests are, but I would think they're similar, so the teams might be even on cannon supplies. Fold gets the first wool. Gonna pass it around. That is the second touch of the day. That's going to be picked up by Sub and secured somewhere else, given that there is TNT on the map. Claff is on his way out. Not, not going to get there in time to prevent the wool from being passed around, but going to get there in time maybe to prevent Fold from getting out? Probably not. He's getting a lot of, a lot of fire here from Zakea's cat productions and uh, Zakea's cat productions and Subatomic Panda. Sub going for a bridge there. Claff taking him out. Does Claff have a powerful bow? He does not. Sub must have been lower on health there. So Wallop should be gearing up by now. They've had that iron smelting for a while. They really need to get it on. It's just, oh, half of it is sitting in a furnace. Half of it was crafted for someone. Although I think Nixani was already in iron. Okay, so looks like they got, looks like they got strangey iron. They need to get that final set 
over here on triple ZKO. That's what they're gonna do. And the key question we learned from Wallop, um, from Wallop's match on this map earlier today is you have to get a bed. So it looks like they're gonna get that bed. Now, do does JBM have a bed here? Also, Nixani going in for second. Gets the first button. Does JBM have a bed? The bed is so important. On Fire versus Wallop, Fire played this map against Wallop, had no bed, and it I think it was the worst mistake they made the whole match. They did get spawn locked, but you can overcome a spawn lock. But interestingly, I don't see a bed for JBM. Nixani getting taken or sorry. Yeah, Nixani getting taken out by Zakez. Probably like half of the gear going into the void, some of it's still there. Sorry. Thanks for the call out, uh, Chiller Frost, Greg. Um, sometimes the overlay here gets mixed up and the wolves are switched around. That was the case here. Um, Nixani losing another piece of gear. They've got a pretty strong lock on him. Again, JVM just really controlling this area. Looks like we got some action up first. Do. Looks like Foldesi, now that he's out of second, is is running first wool for JVM. And he's about probably 40% of the way up. And there's not, there is well, there's some spawners left, but doing pretty well. I don't think anyone has gone in for J for uh, Wallop yet. Strangey's here trying to provide cover. Nixani not going back into second yet. They were pretty much a set of iron down. Triple ZKO probably needs to put on that iron that had finished smelting. It's kind of going to waste just sitting there. Unless, oh, I think Nixani actually took it. Um, are they gonna run third? Oh, they've, sorry, they've already run third. They're gonna try and lock JBM from getting third. Probably a good idea. I assume that must have been Claff. It is. Claff trying to cannon the bridge here. Great cannon. Uh, he's almost got it. Although JBM gets a member across. Was that Subatomic Panda? It's Cat Productions. Kicking off their third run. So there's currently a lot happening. We had a botched... Oh, Fuldesi falling from a high place, dropping yellow wool. Okay, yellow wool he had previously. Um, but falling all the way down here from, from his perch right here somehow. Probably trying to duck these ledges so that it lands at the bottom and he can, he can recollect it very easily, but he was very close to the end of the wool. Okay, Subatomic Panda finally bringing a bed down lane. And Full Desi, where... I assume Full Desi is gonna go back in. Strangey providing some good pressure while simultaneously lighting up the first parts of first wool. Or Wallop, while JBM while well, Fuldesi tries to get back in for JBM. Um, looks like Nixani. I suppose they've botched their attempt to lock down third. 
Lord Cat Productions respawn. Cat has not slept in a bed yet. Sub finally brought the bed down lane, but that that that's a lot of time lost. He's got to go this whole way just to get here, and maybe recollect his items. And if they provide apply any sort of pressure at this bridge, I mean, Clap is just set up. They might be able to prevent him from getting back. And because they don't have a bed nearby, it's just that much more time that Triple ZKO and Nixani can focus on on running second here. Nixani one button down, almost to the second button. Depending on, yeah, a cat killed again by Triple ZKO. Those that gear probably gonna gonna die and expire. Cat, let's see, still having not slept in a bed. Uh, let's check on the status of first. We still have Strangey applying pressure. Fold is probably halfway back up to where he fell. Uh, it's kind of a a race between Fold and Nixani to see who's going to obtain the team's second wool first. Um, with Fold almost obtaining first wool, Nixani almost obtaining second. So Fold is here. Fold is going to get first wool. So now JBM is beating Wall up two wools to one, two wool touches to one. Although Nixani for Wallop just activating the second button at second wool. If only he could have done that faster. The problem with Fold now being free of first wool is he's, is he's going to come apply a lot of, he's either going to apply a lot of pressure here at second, which would not be good for Nixani, or, he's going, or he is going to stay and apply pressure for Strangey, who was kind of toying with the idea of running first for Wallop. We'll see which one of those he chooses to do. Nixani's, Nixani's out. Fold. Looks like we got Cat Productions low. Cat Productions giving up on the gear. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. That's Subatomic Panda. Let's let's check in on Cat Productions real quick. Cat. Almost making it back to third to collect this gear, which is probably going to expire soon. I see an enchanted bow. I'm not sure if that's one of the infinity bows or if that's a power bow. If that's a power bow, that's that's not a that's a, a bad loss. Let's see if Cat was able to sleep. Okay, fortunately, Cat slept, so he's not having to run back the whole way. Um, some Atomic Panda was in the field, taken out by Triple ZKO. Nixani shot by Zakez. Not sure if... Okay, he had gone in just a little bit. And wow, they are really pressuring him. A lot of pressure by Sub, and Zakez, very, very good pressure. And he dies again. Um, Strangey is definitely running... First wool currently, and I must assume this is where Full Desi still is to pressure him. Unless Fold went for second resources or something. Oh, Fold has actually returned to second wool. Looks like he's got the prod and chance on his gear. Okay, so we knew Fold would do one of two things. We knew he would either prevent Nixani from getting back, or he would prevent Strangey from completing first wool. Looks like he's going to choose the Nixani option. I'm going to do some cannons too. I, I really think... I, I'm... Not not trying to throw shade at Nixani, but I really think it's going to be easier to lock Nixani on this final run of second wool than it is going to be to lock Strangey on first wool. 
considering that Strange is a very good player, but also first wool is a PvE wool, and this this wool, second wool, is designed specifically to be a PvP wool. So, wow. Um, so lots of opportunities for PvP pressure, whether that's bow pressure, cannon pressure. Nixani not even able to get back to his items here, where he's got some gear. And JBM kind of out gearing Wallop too. Wallop has lost a few sets of iron. If they lose the second one, they've lost a few sets of iron. Might be able to reclaim it. But yeah, this, this is a lot of pressure from JBM. Really, really controlling this area of the map really well. They need to hope that Cat Productions is able to take care of third before Strangey gets back. It's just a race. It's a race. You could call it a race for wool. I think that's a good way to describe it. Cat pretty uncontested here. Well, Desi coming into support. Not gonna go for the second lockdown. But instead choosing to come support Cat. Claff coming here to try to pressure. Not sure what happened to Claff's armor. We might have missed something. Claff got voided. Claff got voided. Was that... Wow. Wonder how that happened. That's another set of iron and a lot of TNT down for Wallop. Claff's very good with TNT. And he can't provide any of that pressure. After getting voided by whatever that was, I have to assume a bow shot from JVM. So we've got Fold and Cat trying to run third together. Or at least Fold trying to provide cover for Cat. Cat's almost at the wool box. Um, for Wallop, looks like Strangey. Did I miss this? Strangey picked up Red Wool, yeah. So Strangey was able to get out of first. So he's probably able to support Nixani in getting the final section of of second wool done. But with this pass around, if Foldesi has the rest of the wools in his inventory, which he does indeed, this is going to be it. Unless Claff has any tricks up his sleeve, but without his TNT which would be so great right now. He's pretty ineffective. All right, cat, pass it around. Both teams need everyone they've got at the VM right now. Because there always is the possibility. Foldesi is only at three and a half hearts. Cat Productions is high on health, but he's locked inside the wool. There is always the possibility that if Wallop gets enough people down here and they get Nixani out of second wool, that they can win this. This is very close. It might not look like it, but if they can lock this effectively up here, this could be very close. So far it seems only Foldesi is here to support the VM and the others are just trying to lock Nixani. But Strangey outgears them, they've only got leather. Foldesi, knowing the risk, trying to get the other wolves on the VM, but he's low.
got food, so you can regen. Cat production's taken out, triple ZKO. Who was up here, I believe? Clap is low on health. Oh, cat pro right, right, right. Cat Productions is here. So, yeah, now is their time. They now is their chance. They've probably got a pretty good shot of getting this completed right here. Yeah, fold placing orange wool. The last one that's left yet to be placed. It's yellow. Clap is at three and a half hearts. Fold is in iron, and the game's over. Good game. Twenty-seven minutes, two seconds. Jamaican bobsled mafia winning. Losers round five. Against Wallop. Good game. Let's see if either team is down for an interview. Interview. I don't know if they can see my message. All right, let's go in for a listen and, and talk to all right let's go in and talk to jbm hello all right, all right. listen we're gonna be to all month long are you pulling no, don't say anything Shame's on Shame's on Shame's on yeah, this, this, the stream is on, so how was your match on Harvest Hills? This is probably the closest match that I've streamed the entire tournament, I think. Um, was, it um, was it? I, I really thought that it was. I thought there was a, a chance if Claff and Triple ZKO were able to hold uh fold down there at the end that maybe they could get nixani out a second but maybe my assessment there was not correct personally i don't think that they were ever getting second in like for another 30 minutes because uh we still had tnt and they hadn't even gotten to the hardest vertical yet right yeah. okay fair enough yeah. well how uh how was how was the match it was close it was good it was Back and forth. I think we just outpaced a little bit. Um, yeah, it's good. They put, I, I just think they went to third first. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like that isn't the one you want to rush. But uh, I, I think they would have lasted not as long if they didn't do that, to be honest with you. Maybe that's wrong, but yeah. getting that done early means they don't have to ever go to that part of the map and sink a player in after a certain point. Well, the thing is, they had to, like, um, they had to lock me down anyway. So like they were already sending like uh, people there. So it's a. Uh, I'm not a race rule player, but it feels like that map is really only about second. Like who can hold the second the longest wins. <laughs> Pretty much. Definitely agree. First is kind of a lockdown, but uh, what's the second? It, um, it's it's kind of it's like that, that, spot that, that spot that I sat in is so broken because it's like pre-made for you by the map, and it's like I don't know, it's only counterable by cannon, but. It's easy to rebuild, and it's like. So we play either Manifest or Big Chungan, or no? Or oh, nice. really? Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, well, I'm excited. Big good. Good luck in in your match with whoever you choose to to face. I enjoyed this match. All I also enjoyed the Elemental match. Um, okay. Good luck. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, Ramsey. The Elemental match, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did not enjoy that match. Yeah, that was a, a rough one, but. Uh... All right. So. Like they mentioned, now that they have won against Wallop, 
they will move on to losers round six. Let's refresh the bracket here. And they're going to be facing either Manifest Destiny or Big Chungin. That match is currently in progress. And we'll see who wins that one. That'll be their opponent. We've also got Poon Army versus Elysium, which is currently in progress in the semifinals of the top bracket.